Hi everyone. Got parts of similar triangles, and the first theorem is going to deal with perimeters. I know it's going to deal with altitudes. It's going to deal with medians and so on. And what I want you to do is take these notes down. First notes, proportional perimeters theorem. And it says if two triangles are similar, then their perimeters Proportional to the corresponding sides. So the perimeters can be used just like the other things. Let's look at an example, see what we're talking about. If two triangles are similar, then their perimeters are proportional to the corresponding sides. So triangle PQR is similar to triangle LMN. LM is 16, MN is 14, and NL is 27. 16 and 14 is 30, 30 and 27, the perimeter of this one is 57. And RP, this side right here is 18. Now 18 corresponds to 27. The perimeter is proportional to the sides. So 18 over 27 is going to equal the perimeter of triangle PQR, which is what we want to find, and over the perimeter of triangle LMN. That's the proportion you would use to solve that. Now, I don't have my calculator on me real right now, so I'm going to work on this a little bit, but I'm going to simplify a little bit. Nine goes into both these, two and three times. That makes my job a little easier. Two times 57 is 114, and if I divide that by three, I think that goes in evenly, 33 and 5. The perimeter of this triangle is 38. Now you could find it in another way, but you can use that proportion to find it. You could find each of these other two sides using your proportions, then add that way. It will still work either way. The I'm going to leave this one for you to do for your... Homework. See if you can figure that out with that one. Now we do have some special segments for the theorems here. Theorem 6.8. Similar triangles have corresponding altitudes proportional to the corresponding sides. All right. Well, that's already there for us. So the altitudes also follow that proportion that the sides follow. Let's look at this example right here. Find FG. Where is FG? Right here. If triangle RST is similar to triangle EFG, SH is an altitude of RST and FJ is an altitude of EFG. So these are the altitudes. And ST is 6. SH is 5. FJ is 7, and FG is what we want to find. So it says that, so if I put X over 6, those are corresponding sides, that the altitudes follow that same. So X over 6 equals 7 over 5. And 5X, five, 5 times X equals 7 times 6, which is 42. When you divide that by 5, you'll get x is equal to 8.4. So x is 8.4, that is the altitude 
No, that's not the altitude. That's the FG side that we were after. I want you to try this one. We'll talk about the answer in class. Now, theorem 6.9 is the very similar to... Let me get back to this. 6.8, tri similar triangles have corresponding, not altitudes this time. Let's use similar triangles have corresponding angle bisectors. The angle bisectors work here that are proportional to the corresponding sides. So, these two triangles are said to be similar. Let's just say they are. There's nothing in there that says they are. But their angle bisectors are here. And the ratio of angle bisectors is 9 to 6. It is proportional to the side ratios. So, x is on the bottom, 12 over x. Now, as we do that, 12 times 6 is 72, 72 divided by 9 is 8. So x equals 8. Theorem 6.10. These are the medians. See, notice that they hit the midpoint, vertex to midpoint, that's median. So, we're going to state it the same way. Similar triangles have corresponding medians that are proportional to corresponding sides. Ten is a median, x is a median. Let's make that ratio. Ten over x. Eighteen and fifteen are corresponding sides. All right, eighteen times x is eighteen x. Fifteen times ten is one hundred fifty. Solving for x, solving for the length of that median there. Dividing by eighteen, divide by eighteen. You heard me say earlier, I don't have my calculator. So if I divide by 3, I know I got 50 here and 6 here. And if I divide by 2, I got 25 and I got 3. And I know that is 8 and a third. So x is equal to 8 and 1 third. All right. Well, we got one more. And this one is... Theorem 6.11 is not dealing, it's the angle bisector theorem. And what it essentially says, it separates the opposite side, an angle bisector in a triangle separates the opposite side into segments that have the same ratio of the other two sides. So, essentially, if I have this triangle here, and I've got, if I bisect the angle, I'm not necessarily hitting the median there. I bisect the angle. If this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, AB over AC, this side, is equal to BD over DC, this one over this one. Okay, that ratio will hold. So in other words, this is an angle bisector. 17 over 11 equals x plus 7. x plus 7 over x. Now solve that. Now that's 11x plus 77. I'm multiplying these two together equals 17x. x times 17. 
So I'm going to subtract 11x from both sides. And I'll have 77 equals 6x. Let's divide by 6 here and here. And when I'm finished, I've got 77 divided by 6. 6, whoops, not 6, 12, and 12 times 6, 72. 12 and 5, 6 is equal to x, 12.83 possibly on your value. All right, use the same method and solve that one, and we'll discuss it in class. I will see you tomorrow.